Mice can recognize their reflection in a mirror. Self-awareness is one of those traits that we think is unique to humans. Meanwhile, scientists reported that in their experiments, mice passed the self-awareness test. The mirror test, as it is known, tests whether a creature recognizes its reflection as itself and was developed to test self-awareness in various species. The mirror test is a method of examining self-awareness. It was first carried out on chimpanzees in the 1970s. A group of chimpanzees who had never seen a mirror before initially perceived their reflection as a threat, another individual. After some time, the chimpanzees realized that they saw their own reflections in the mirror. A positive test result is achieved when a specific animal recognizes its reflection in a mirror, rather than treating it as another creature. This change in behavior reflects some self-awareness, a mental model of one's own body as opposed to that of friends, enemies, or other parts of the environment. The assessment is made by painting a colored dot on the animal's body, which it can see in its own reflection, and analyzing its behavior. The animal should react to the new feature of its body visible in the mirror by touching it and trying to remove it. On average, children can pass the mirror test after 18 months. The animals that passed the mirror test included primarily mammals, several species of monkeys, elephants, pigs, dolphins, killer whales and birds from the corvid family, but also pigeons. In 2018, a tiny fish joined this group, the red wrasse. Research from earlier this year found that penguins also have potential self-awareness. In a new study appearing in the journal Neuron, researchers at the University of Texas used the mirror test to see if mice could detect a change in their appearance. In this case, an ink stain on their forehead. The rodents passed the test. They were able to recognize their reflection in the mirror. But the authors of the publication noted that their experiments only show that mice can detect changes in their appearance, but this does not necessarily mean that they are self-aware. In their experiments, scientists noticed that when mice see themselves in the mirror, they display behaviors that suggest self-recognition. When researchers marked the foreheads of black-furred mice with a stain of white ink, the mice spent more time grooming their heads in front of the mirror, possibly trying to remove the stain. However, the mice only showed this behavior if they were already accustomed to mirrors, had contact with other mice that looked similar to them, and if the ink spot was relatively large. The researchers used the mirror test to see if mice could detect a change in their appearance, an ink stain on their forehead. Because the ink application also provided a tactile stimulus, the researchers tested black-furred mice using both black and white ink. Although the mirror test was originally developed to test consciousness in various species, the authors of the paper pointed out that their experiments only show that mice can detect a spot on their forehead, which does not necessarily indicate self-awareness. The mice could indeed detect changes in their appearance, but only under certain conditions. Rodents familiar with mirrors spent significantly more time grooming their heads in front of the mirror when they were marked with drops of white ink. It is important to emphasize that these activities only concerned the head, 
not other parts of the body. However, the mice did not perform increased head grooming when the ink was black. The same color as their fur. It was similar when the ink mark was small, even if the ink was white. Mice needed significant external sensory input to pass the mirror test. We had to put a large amount of ink on their heads. And then the tactile stimulus from applying the ink somehow enabled the animal to detect the ink on its head in a mirror image, says John Yokose of the University of Texas, first author of the paper. Adding that chimpanzees and humans do not they need no additional sensory input to pass the mirror test. In further studies, the researchers identified a subset of neurons in the hippocampus involved in the formation and storage of this visual self-image. Providing the first insight into the neural mechanisms behind self-recognition to form episodic memory, for example for events in our daily lives, brains create and store information about where, what, when and who, and the most important element of this is self-information or status. Scientists typically study how the brain encodes or recognizes others, but the self-information aspect is unclear says neuroscientist Takashi Kitamura of the University of Texas, co-author of the paper. Using gene expression mapping, the researchers identified a subset of neurons that fired when the mice recognized themselves in the mirror. When the researchers deactivated individual neurons, they found that the mice no longer showed grooming behavior in front of the mirror, even though there was a visible ink stain on the forehead. Interestingly, a subset of these neurons also fired when the mice perceived other mice with a similar appearance and the same fur color. But when the mice in the area had a different color, even white, the subset of neurons in question was not active, because previous research on chimpanzees suggested that social experience was required to recognize one's reflection in a mirror. The researchers also tested mice that were isolated from other rodents at birth. These mice marked with the ink stain did not groom their heads in front of the mirror. In isolated mice, activation of companion neurons in the hippocampus was also not observed, suggesting that mice must have social experiences with other similar individuals in order to develop the neural circuits necessary for self-recognition. In future work, Scientists will want to delve deeper into the importance of tactile and visual stimuli. In this way, they intend to check whether mice can recognize changes in their reflection in the absence of a touch stimulus. They also plan to investigate other areas of the brain that may be involved in self-recognition as well as how different brain regions communicate with each other and integrate information.